Sign language users of Reddit. What is a common sign you see people do without being aware they are doing it? A colleague of mine once told me a story about how he was singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for a group of children when he noticed a lady at the back of the room stifling a laugh. She approached him afterwards to apologize and explain that his hand symbol for star was pretty much sign language for vagina so couldn't help her reaction. He altered the delivery of the song for future audiences. Wow, I've been making that same sign for twinkle twinkle little star my whole life. I took sign language for 3 years at high school. Our principal would incorrectly sign the word thank you and would instead do the sign for the word slut. My sign language teacher let her do it for 3 months before correcting her. Edit, this is the sign for thank you. Signing savi this was the sign my principal was doing thinking it was the word for thank you. Signing savi, what's the sign for slut? There's a deaf woman at my grocery store and I tell her thank you every time I go through her line. I hope edit, oh dear. She's deaf. Not dead. There was a fad a few years ago where people did peace signs on their foreheads and self eyes that means stupid in ASL. Also frequent to see people say vagina, lesbian, or period. Occasionally hearing people mess up trying to sign thank you to me and accidentally say duck you. My calc teacher is guilty of the thank you slash duck you mix up. BSL user here. You should know that whenever you do a double handed finger gun, you're dangerously close to saying anal sex. From now on my standard greeting will be a double handed finger gun. It would be really funny to get a video of someone who gestures a lot when they give speeches and do subtitles, as if you're interpreting their gestures with the with the nearest equivalent ASL signs. Like an ASL version of bad lip reading on YouTube. Worked security in a class A office building with a guy who had a deaf daughter. Every once in a while he would slip signs in as he was talking. Had a lady file a complaint against him for blowing her a kiss. He had slipped into signing and said thank you. Edit, wow, went for a walk and this took off. So, for context, this was a large office building owned by a national bank who occupied about 40% of the space. The lady was an employee of said bank. We were employees of a security company contracted by the building managers and people generally look down upon those working in security, hence the complaint. As for what happened with it, the property people let my boss do an investigation without having a knee-jerk reaction, they were pretty cool that way. My co-worker explained what happened, and that was that. It also helped that there were two deaf workers in the lady's own department that knew that my guy could sign. My co-worker seemed amused by the whole situation. My old neighbor was a speech therapist, so she often slipped sign into conversation. What was odd to me is that she didn't notice when people signed back. My youngest son was functionally deaf until after ear surgery and would often sign and it just slipped by her. My good daughter's son signed for nearly 4 years before he decided to talk. No physical reason he was just more comfortable with it and again she never noticed. Seemed so odd. Edit. I'm leaving it lol. My god daughters are the only daughters I have and they are both good so it works lol. That's what happens when you reply without reading it back. I see lesbian signed out without being aware. It's the first finger and thumb in the shape of an L placed on the chin. People do this when pondering something. Edit. Wow quite the response. Some of your replies are funny too like how in Filipino it's handsome. And for those the ask no deaf people don't even tend to notice unless someone does it excessively. Have fun watching for it now. I do that one on purpose in case I ever meet a cute lesbian who knows sign language. So she knows. Vagina. It always makes me giggle a bit. This happens a lot in Oregon. The University of Oregon sports fans have a lot of spirit and they like to put their hands together in an O and cheer. Unfortunately, many of them put their hands together in the wrong way and you have half a stadium signing vagina and shouting an extended O in excitement. How many times I've seen guys unknowingly sign lesbian in ASL when flirting with girls in real life and in the movies, this sign edit, to add to this, I, regrettably, taught the signs lesbian, gay, lit, white trash, and weird in ASL to some of my hearing friends, because they ask me, and they use it constantly to insult each other discreetly. Mind you, I taught them other more useful signs, but those five signs are the only ones they remember. 
and 95% of them are straight dudes. It's still funny though. Mom. Dad. I'm a. Every time you make a thumbs up, you're saying the number 10. Every time you do the OK sign, you're saying the number 9. Every time you cross your fingers, it's the letter R. Edit. Yes I'm talking about ASL. Sorry for any confusion. Nap. When I do the OK sign I'm saying the letter F. The sign for go. My man. I briefly took a sign language class in college. On day 1, the teacher egged all of us name signs related to the first letter of our first names. My first name starts with C, and she egged me a name sign with a C shape signed on my left chest, which I later learned is the actual sign in my area for citation. The chest position relates to the position of a police officer's badge, I guess. I was mostly amused. If this is ASL, it also means police officer. That's a fairly common sign name for people who start with C though. Anytime you've held up your index finger and your middle finger to indicate 2, then corrected yourself and held up your ring finger to indicate 3, you've unintentionally advertised for folks with gym. I need to write the middle letter and demand my 3 cents for doing so. The sign for the number 6. When you are trying to indicate 3 by holding 3 fingers up with the pointer, middle and ring finger, you are saying 6 in sign language. The number 3 is pointer, middle and thumb. I once had a student that didn't even use the ASL 6. Her version of 3 was actually equivalent to ASL 7. It was so weird. Pro tip, saying sign language is like saying spoken language. There are dozens of different sign languages, the most common in the United States being ASL. Even the British sign language is different, the alphabet even. American sign language is more closely related to French sign language because of those two Frenchmen coming off the boat with intentions to spread sign language. My history is rusty. ASL. Every time people clap they're unintentionally signing school. Edit. To add of another one I thought of. The I'm going to take your nose game you play with kids becomes toilet so. Or paper. Hamburgers are a rarity unless the user is being overly dramatic. Edit, or becomes Tuesday, if you give the TS whirl, knuckles facing towards your face. It's also Tuesday today. Catching. I just started learning sign language. I don't know anything particularly funny, but I thought they were interesting to find out. The little hand jiggle that people do to say so so kinda means the same thing in sign. When you snap your fingers or pat your leg to call your dog, you're saying dog. Blowing a kiss is very similar to thank you. Also, a lot of people talk with their hands and end up sort of opening their hands palm up in front of them, kind of like saying wah. Literally means what in sign. Part of me wonders if we adopted those gestures from sign, or if sign adopted them from fidgety people. Anyone know the history of the development of sign who can answer that? If your sign language teacher didn't tell you that those signs were adopted from those gestures then you should tell them to include that in the curriculum. My teacher always tells us how the sign came to be. My stupid literally thought for a second how are they gonna see this? Fear death. Save me from myself. Deleted. I seem to notice a lot of people with their middle fingers out as they drive pardon me. I just smile and give them a little wave and think how funny it would be if they knew what they were saying. I know you're joking. But when I studied ASL in HS and college people always thought they were hilarious when they would say I know sign language too. And flip me off. Ha 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 haven't heard that one in Czechs watch at least an hour. I'm not a sign language user, but giving the middle finger in Korean sign language means mountain, because it comes from the shape of the Chinese character that means mountain. My ASL teacher taught me that the middle finger in Japanese sign language is their sign for brother. I love that it's mountain in KSL. Colon close bracket. Before I started learning ASL I used to brush my hair away from my face in a way that kinda looked like the sign for whore, if in remembering correctly, which I'm sure confused a few people. What a horrible mistake. Only tangentially related, but I have a deaf regular customer who will sign at me and or point, with the occasional note in a pinch, and some things are hilariously clear. She managed to communicate WTF. Did someone smoke a bowl up in here? It reeks of weed. 
with perfect clarity, no note required. Bet she wasn't wrong. In terms of rude signs, vagina, all the time, and oddly very frequently amongst YouTubers. It's madness. Michelle Obama was signing it on the cover of Reader's Digest a few years ago. Lesbian. It's when people pose putting a L-shaped hand to their chin for pictures. As a lesbian, it always makes me chuckle when someone texts me. A while back there was a little kids choir, completely forgot why I saw it, and they were singing several songs, mostly things like nursery rhymes, and would sign along to the lyrics. When they were singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star they all simultaneously had been told to make the shape of a star instead of doing the actual sign. The star shapes turned out to be what's equivalent to a vagina. In sign language LMAO, it's not like the instructor who knew a bit of ASL was able to explain what they were actually signing. They were literally preschoolers slash kindergarteners. This looks a lot like the story of you slash capped vulnerable. I know this dude that would absentmindedly hit the top of his fist with the bottom of the other. What he didn't know is that this is a sign for masturbate. Oh god that's not far off from work, but you touch your wrist instead of your fist. Gotta keep an eye out for that one lol. I'm not fluent in sign language, but I've been teaching certain signs to my 15 month old, learning as we go. I see the sign for all done every day. Here's Neil deGree Tyson doing it unintentionally. The most common one I see people do inadvertently is there and here, I think because it's so common to just point and something, and say it's over there. People do I love you when trying to do rock on a lot. Yay, rock on is just the pointer finger and pinky to simulate devil horns. It irks me when people add the thumb. That is not rock, it's I love you. I was learning sign and met a lot of deaf people during that time. I thought I signed nice to meet you, but apparently signed nice to duck you. The man was very nice when he corrected me, but joked that he didn't think my husband would appreciate that very much. In sports, and with most people in general, when they show three on their hands they will touch their pinky finger to their thumb, which is the ASL numerical sign for six, which is also the letter W. It always cracks me up cause all I see is six. I also see people who are expressive with their hands while speaking English and will automatically get excited and zone in to see if they are signing. Typically they're not though. Then I get disappointed and laugh at myself lol. A lot of people trying to indicate numbers but not realizing that ASL the numbers are done differently or when people sign finished when they're just taking and using their hands when they speak. Note, not deaf and I'm Italian. So I do use my hands when speaking, but since learning ASL I'm more aware of how I use my hands in certain situations haha. <laughs> A friend's dad was trying to ask his teenage son and his friends if they wanted pizza. Anytime he didn't know the sign to a word, he mimicked it. So instead of asking if anyone wanted to eat pizza, he asked if they wanted to eat pussy. Yeah, I could eat. I've been seeing people doing this on social media and it actually means gay sex. It doesn't, it's the sign for hurt or pain. In NZ sign the word for going to the bathroom or chis is the same as is the name for a boomer paradise town called Whitby. I love it. The Auslan sign for sex is very similar to what I've seen some non-signing people do for hashtag, which always makes me giggle. Auslan wait. Also, the second sign for holiday. My favorite. Catch ya later, bitches. I'm off on holiday. Auslan. Holiday is my favorite reply in this thread. I've been told that the way I scratch my neck looks like I'm saying duck you essentially in sign language. With the back of your hand, scratch from your throat to the tip of your chin to out in front of you in one fluent motion. That's duck you. Instead of the universal sign rock on with two fingers up and thumb tucked in I see the I love you sign with the thumb not tucked in. I get a kick out seeing headbangers profess their love to the band, which might be what they've meant to do idk. Rubbing your palms together means eager or anticipate, which does actually make a lot of sense given how people use it anyway. The sign for menstruation is just a fist, the ASL a handshake. Tapped against your cheek twice with your fingers in towards your cheek. I, a female, would commonly casually do it while in club with my male friend. 
who is deaf, when we were in high school. Obviously I knew what it means, it was just funny to get him blushing, because he was a young male and menstruation is often weird for them. I have also seen people do it accidentally, while thinking or something, though. The gay sex sign in all these stupid TikTok videos. Like this. Please stop. The deaf programmers I work with, and so our whole engineering floor and interpreting staff, have adopted that as the sign for lambda slash lambdas. Middle out and tip. To tip efficiency jokes abound. When you shake your hand with the pinky and thumb out, I forget what the, the phrase is in English, it means yellow. Mostly seen done by surfers. Hang loose. The signs for thank you and duck you are awfully similar. I went to RIT and had cleas with a lot of ASL users. After a presentation I signed what I thought was thank you to find out later from my friend who started laughing immediately that it was actually duck you. I'm guessing a thumbs up slash down is a universal sign. It means going up or going down for scuba divers though. Not sure if this is correct, but if you do the mind blown gesture with only one hand, it means something along the lines of I forgot. Really not sure, so you can fact check this. PLS don't hate, if it's wrong I'll delete it. Yeah right. At least for BSLUR. The OK hand gesture people use is the letter F in ASL, but ASL actually does have a sign for OK. The sign is literally just the letters OK or some just use K. I take cleaves for ASL, and I'm far from good, yet I notice that people will mistake the word black. They're two kinds, both are very similar to, but both are very different. One represents the color, the other represents the people of color. Really? I only knew the sign for the color. How do you, so the sign for the people of color? In Dutch sign language you count with one hand. A lot of people who don't know sign language, but just do something, while talking use the hand gesture of 8, while actually saying 3, raising up your thumb, index finger and middle finger. This really confuses me. Me. How many children do you have? D. Signs 8-3. Not a slew, but my boyfriend used to bust tables. He was working one day and simply scratched his chin. He scratches to where dirt doesn't get under his nails, because that's gross when you're cleaning people's tables. Apparently in the way he scratched his chin, upset a customer. They complained that he signed duck you to the whole dining room, and that he needs to be careful. The manager asked if anyone in their party used signs so she could apologize. They said no and walked away. Let me tell you, the circle game is super annoying to me, because that sign held down low is basically the sign for a hole. Well, at least it fits. My wife is a coder, and from her and her parents I have picked up sign. We went to Cuba a couple years ago, and since I don't speak great Spanish, I found myself supplementing with sign language. Often I would find myself saying yes in sign, moving your hand up and down in a fist. On the last night we were in Cuba, I did just this at a restaurant and the waiter started laughing, and then went over to a group of other employees, who all also started laughing. Seeing my confusion, he came back over and explained that doing that movement with your hand was the equivalent to asking another man at a club if he wants to come home and bang. The TikTok shy finger pointing thing always cracks a laugh cause it means gay sex in American Sign Language. That was just a rumor. Someone said that, and I guess everyone believed it, but it's simply not true. It's just pain or hurt. I tend to sign thank you when a waiter slash waitress brings me a fresh drink or something, while my mouth is full. I do that. I sign thank you virtually all the time. If I'm not sure how familiar people are with the sign, I'll mouth it at the same time. When girls pose for pictures with two fingers up, like peace sign, on their forehead. They're really just signing stupid. I took ASL in 11th grade. One of our popular sports teams is the Ducks, and at football games a lot of people will do the O to show their support. Problem is, our teacher told us that the O is a gesture that is very possible to accidentally turn into the ASL for vagina. So imagine being deaf and going to a football game and seeing a sea of vaginas every time the home team scored. I'm not a SL user, but I used to date a girl who had a 5 year old sister who was deaf. 
Any time she'd come into the room it hit her with my standard rock on hand sign. Kinda like the one Spider-Man does, I did this to everyone, so I didn't think anything of it. Anyways as soon as I did it she'd burst out in giggles and run out of the room and my girlfriend would give me a big smile. Weeks later she told me it was the sign for I love you, and that every time I saw her that's what I was telling her. I made a point to keep doing it because those giggles and that smile was so worth it. A lot of beginners confuse the sign pink with penis very hilarious. I high school, whenever I was stubble I, I would itch my chin with the back of my finger nails. You can imagine how emburied I was when a deaf woman at my church informed me that gesture was basically equivalent to the middle finger. The thing about sign language is that you have to be super crisp and intentional with your signing for it to be understood. Also, when the boy and what are those thing was really popular, that motion is the sign for bitch or dastard depending on how high on your face you started. People in my area do the boy gesture to mean are you serious? And my mind always jumps to bitch. You know the hand? In sign language, that can mean three things depending on context. It can mean okay, the letter F, or my personal favorite, owl. So when I see kids at my school doing that symbol, I always think in my head, yeah, that kid is an owl, you're right. Ah, and nine. Not a sign language user, but have been informed that I was flipping people off in sign by accident. Whenever I have allergies my throat gets really itchy, so instead of scratching it, I made these flip motions instead to itch it, and was told by my parent to stop doing that cause I didn't know who I was offending. I would absolutely love to see a video of Italian people talking, and their hand gestures being translated into what they mean in sign language. I was thinking about that. I saw a lot of people at my school signing a hole without even realizing. My ASL teacher and clan had a good laugh about it. Wife is fluent. I listen to a lot of metal, and she has noticed many people at shows attempting to do devil horns and instead saying either I love you or llama. In New Zealand the letter H can easily be done as go away slash fk off, if you're not careful. You slide your right palm across the palm of your left hand till you reach the top of your fingers on your left hand for H. For the other one it's that, but you go past your fingertips. Ye when a bunch, if us were learning the alphabet at school some lady came in and saw all of us showing her the letter H and she looked horrified. Then another girl who was learning it also knew this and never corrected anyone. She thought it was funny seeing the whole class AFK off in sign language while spelling anyone's name with an H. After learning a bit, if and ZSL I found it funny too when I'd see people do that same thing and also, kinda, had a convo to a deaf person about it. I mean kinda cause I'm not excellent, but I know enough basic stuff and easy hand gestures that aren't sign language that help with converse. Ketchup, surprisingly. I had to learn a dastardized version of sign language after a friend of mine had an accident, and it became very painful for them to speak he could understand us speaking still, he couldn't speak normally, but he could still hear. So you had to learn to sign language to understand his response. He always laughed, when I tried to do the sign for thunderstorm he said I was doing the sign for orgy instead. I don't know how I mixed those two up, but it always made Emmett laugh. I won't say I'm a sign language user, but my ex-girlfriend's mom is a sign language interpreter, so I learned a lot from my ex. We used to use the sign for Riley as in I love you, and the reason it looks like that is because it contains the sign letters I, L and Y. Let's just say that as a metalhead, these big aggressive shows seem a lot nicer nowadays. ASL interpreter here. Vagina. Touching your thumbs and index fingers together. Acting as if knowing ASL makes you a superhuman or something. Nothing more cringeworthy than a student wearing. ASL is my superpower shirt, yet cannot carry a simple conversation. People tend to use what a lot without realizing it. Lesbian. Literally, L shape on your chin. Cracks me up every time someone is thinking, or focused and does that. When I see people doing hang ten, I always think of the sign for play. When people refer to something as a whole, I, E, 
the whole world, the whole room, the whole car ECT, that do this thing with their hands, that creates a circle, while their hands are kinda cupped, if that makes sense. So basically they are just saying Clarum. Edit. Grammar mistakes. My grandparents are both deaf, and I've been trying to learn DSL, Dutch, to communicate better. This means that I now see that a lot of what I tried to tell my grandparents when I was little was just incoherent nonsense. It's amazing my grandfather is an amazing lip reader. After reading these comments I'm now scared of moving my hands now. I know this will be buried, but I see people accidentally signing beautiful a lot, as well as football or some variation of it. My friend once accidentally signed abortion while we were talking about our teacher's pregnancy, so that was pretty funny. As many others have mentioned, vagina is definitely the most accidentally used sign I seal mayo. I literally do all of these when I'm speaking haha, except abortion I guess. So interesting. People signing duck you instead of thank you. I worked at a food stamp office for about 4 years, and we had an adult wellness worker. She helped adults with disabilities function like made sure they paid their bills, kept them organized etc. That was hard of hearing, and I had bites all over my hands from working in my garden, so I was wringing my index finger as I answered the window. She laughed and told me, that is the sign for you're going to jail. The vagina one earlier is probably the most common I see, and I have a good story on that. But, related, one of the first things you learn in ASL is nice to meet you however, meet is illustrative, you use the hand shape for a person, and have two people walk up to each other. Many beginners get lazy and don't have them walking, so those people are horizontal, not vertical. So instead of saying nice to meet you, they say nice to duck you. Pain. It's the as far as I know. It's but you have to twist the fingers in opposite rotational directions. The body part you do it over indicates where you feel the pain. At my high school, all the teachers made a video about dancing face to face with some space, and one of the teachers made a seemingly innocuous gesture as he said it, except that he was calling everybody an a-hole in sign language. The ASL kids had a good laugh. Dumba how can they tell us that they don't have sign language keyboards? People constantly putting their L-shaped fingers to their chin slash mouth area are signing lesbian. It makes me laugh every time I see that pondering emoji that does the same. Not super common in everyday conversation, but something that happened in my ASL clap. Usually when we learn a new sign, the teacher shows us and then we repeat it back, often a few times. She showed us the sign for hungry, C-shape tapped against the chest and then stomach, and then when we started to sign, she turned red, and told us only do it once. Turns out if you sign it a bunch of times in a row, it means horny. Whoops. I took ASL in high school, a common mistake people made, was when signing nice to meet you, they would do the sign for meet, both hands holding up the index finger, and moving them to meet each other L, vertically instead of horizontally, which means sex. We had a deaf transfer student join our clan one year and a guy signed this three times to her before realizing why we were all yelling at him. Not a sign, but a t-shirt finger spelling yes in American sign language, ASL. My backpacking friend and I were in Southeast Asia and we saw a guy wearing this t-shirt or he was deaf or new ASL. We decided to approach him and started signing to him. He was like, oh duck. I don't know sign language and muttered something in French. Edit, grammar. A good friend of mine is an Auslan interpreter and has taught my brother and I a fair bit. When my brother worked at a restaurant he told an entire table of deaf people to duck off instead of thank you. When he found out what had done he tried to sign sorry and ended up signing danger danger danger. They found it hilarious. There's a TikTok trend where people are holding their pointer fingers together and shuffling their feet like they're shy, but from my knowledge that actually means gay sex. It's wonderful. Sorry to disappoint. But in ASL it means hurt or pain and I don't think it means that in any other sign languages that I know of. This emoji means lesbian also I'm glad I finally apply to NS credit. Ask away for any clarifications or questions you'll have about the language. My parents are deaf, 
and I grew up learning sign language and English I was taught from my grandparents who are hearing. The OK sign is sign for both a letter F and a number 9. Oh my, you watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.